Right. Yeah, and the market certainly has gotten a lot better here in the last uh, several months. And uh, we have Jennifer Gilchrist here with At Realtor. At Home Realtor. At Home Realtor. At Realty. Home Realty. Yeah. At Home Realty. At Home Realty. You're going to remember that now because I messed it up three <laughs> times. At Home Realty. Yes. And we appreciate you being with us today. Now we're going to start you. things off with a question from one of our viewers. Here it is. We are first time home buyers and can't seem to catch a break. Every time we submit an offer on a home, there are multiple offers and ours does not get picked. What gives? Sincerely, Samantha. So this is actually becoming quite common scenario in today's market with the lack of homes that are for sale mm -hmm. and the number of buyers that are out there. In fact, um, fourth quarter data from 2012 show that we are at the lowest levels of homes on the market since 1997, which is really yeah. low. <laughs> so, That's right. So, so how do we make that offer stick out above all the rest? There's a few things. Offering them 100000 over what we should. Yeah. Well, and I've been in situations where I've had 10 offers on a house and they're all very close in price mm -hmm. because you have to watch out for the appraisal too. Absolutely. So um, there are a few things you can do to make your offer stand out. The first thing that I recommend is to make sure your offer is clean. And by clean, I mean simple, straightforward, very few contingencies or no contingencies, and don't ask for anything weird. For example, don't ask for all of the seller's decorations, which has actually happened to me before. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, uh, so the one, what are there, about four points you need to keep in mind on this? Yeah, uh -huh. the second one is you could write a letter to the seller, and the goal of that is to try and create a bond between you two. Just tell them who you are, why you love their house, and why you want to live in that neighborhood. Oh, good idea. The third thing is to have your real estate agent present the offer in person which is something that hasn't been done recently. It used to happen all the time, but with faxing and then internet, it stopped kind of got away from that. Uh -huh. make, make it more impersonal, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So by doing that, it helps you stand out. And then finally, you can have your loan officer actually call the seller or the seller's agent and just verbally vouch for your creditworthiness and make sure that they'll be able to get the loan done and close it in a timely manner. Okay, so essentially you're just going the extra mile once you mm -hmm. uh, give that offer. Exactly. Let them know that you're very serious. That you have the uh, financial backing for it, and yep, and, uh, yeah, and really just cr try and create that personal uh, touch because everything, like you said, is becoming so electronic and hands off. Okay, and uh, Mark is looking better now, so that's very, very much so. All right, Great. thank you very much, thank you, Jennifer. Appreciate you being with us at Realty, at Home Realty. <laughs> you know what? They're going to send me home after that, <laughs> and we'll be back in just a moment. Uh, beautiful morning out there, but it is going to heat up.